If you go to Matthew chapter 5, verse 7, I think it says, Blessed are the merciful, for they shall obtain mercy. I believe, right? Okay. So if that is true, myself, <laughs> I need so much mercy <laughs> in my life. I need so much mercy. I pray to God and I pray to him about this and that and this and that, like so many things. So, I need mercy in my life, right? Okay. What if a person comes to me asking me for me to show mercy to them, as in blah, 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 blah. Now, of course, use discernment. Every case may not be the same. You know, you may need to wait and think about their request. But I should be merciful to people. If it is within my power to do something, I may not be able to do exactly what they want. You know, I may not be able to do it exactly when they want it. But I should be able, maybe not everyone, but I think I should be able to do something for someone. For instance, Let's say I have one billion dollars. So much money, right? And I am saving money, saving money, saving money, asking God for mercy and stuff like that. And let's say there are organizations asking for donations. You know, I have for an example, one billion dollars. And let's say there are organizations asking me for donations to feed hungry kids or to feed widows and all that stuff there. And let's say I say no. Like, go work a job and put your own money into it, but at the same time, for an example, I am asking God to heal me from cancer and, and make my family right and help me walk and all that stuff there. How can I ask God for mercy, but at the same time, I am not merciful. You may not have one billion dollars, but you may have some extra shoes. You may have some extra clothes. You may be able, you may be able to cook really nice. You may know how to make some apple pie and some pound cake, which I like. Look now, how does it look for you to ask God for stuff, ask people for stuff and receive stuff but when people ask you, like you turn up your lip, meaning you 
don't want to do it or or you get really selfish. How can you be selfish and want people to give to you at the same time? Myself, I think I am helped so much. I think I am helped so much. So why in the world would I be not willing to help others? I think one of the reasons I am so many good things happen to me. Why? Because yes, God's grace. Yes. But also you reap what you sow. I think I help people so much with different things. So much. So, I believe, yes, God's grace as well, but also you reap what you sow. So, if you are in need right now, if you are looking for help but want to remain selfish, how can that be? What should you do? Yes, you may not have a lot of money. Kevin, I don't have money. Okay, but do you have fingers? Do you have arms? Do you have legs? Can you help someone clean their house? Can you help someone do something? Are you good at cooking? Can you fry up some chicken? Can you do something to benefit someone else? You don't always have to have money. Do you have time to talk with a person? Do you have time to comfort someone? You don't always need money. Blessed are the merciful, for they shall obtain mercy. So, did it? Did that scripture say, or does that scripture say, blessed are the ones who give money, for they shall obtain more money? No, merciful. So, I can be merciful other than in money, right? So, <laughs> so is giving money <laughs> the only way I can be merciful? No. Be there for people. Help people. Do something. Don't be self-centered and think about yourself and think about what you don't have and be in depression and pity yourself and why isn't my life better than what it is? Stop that. Look now. Have a spirit to serve. Be willing to serve others. Huh? Am I telling you, you should go out in the street and knock on everyone's door? <laughs> can I serve you? <laughs> I guess you can if you want to, but be willing to serve others. Let me stop here. God bless you.